Hey guys, this is Ryan Skinner and James Gay. Um, James is busy checking the cheapest gas prices in town. Uh, real quick, but I just want to give a quick little intro to the video you're about to see. This is a the first of a few uh, deleted scene uh, montages we're going to put up uh, on the YouTube page. Uh, this one is dealing with uh, some stuff we cut out involving Garrett's character, uh, Earl, who was good friends with James and um, you know, was a local hero in town because he saved this plane uh, from, uh, I mean, he safely landed this, uh, crash landed this plane and no one died. But he does an interview, uh, straight to camera, episode one, volume one that we cut out, where he explains the crash a bit more, his family life, his relationship to James. And we did some of that in the episode, but we really cut most of it out. So that's what you'll see first. And then you're going to see a monologue that he did with James. James, do you remember the scene where you guys fought and you threw your hat on the ground? Yes, I do. Um, there is a monologue in there that he says that's really awesome that we cut out just because it felt like in terms of pacing, these guys are ready to fight. They're ready to blow up at each other. So we were putting that back in there. So those are the two things you'll see. There'll be more videos like this coming online, uh, hopefully in the next few months. So enjoy. James, say enjoy. Have fun, America. You know, and after the crash, I mean, I got a settlement and all that, but I mean, there was an engine fire and we barely made it to the runway. I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't make it to the runway. We'd crash in this open field just shy of it and, uh, you know, mass hysteria, but you know, everyone made it out. I mean, we're safe. But, you know, it's just, Life-changing, I guess, but you know, but being a pilot, I mean, we were gone for you know days on end. I mean, that was just not uncommon, you know, and just not being home. And uh, now I'm just home all the time, and I'm around a lot. I live just north of here, and sometimes I'll just come back down here and uh, sit by the airport and watch the planes come in. That night, when I had to land my plane, it was a beautiful summer evening. The sun was just setting. You could see the airport coming up. The little twinkling lights from the airport. Saw the river, saw the mall, all the things I was familiar with. I must have made that descent a thousand times. This night, I didn't want to land it. I didn't want to go home. What have I got to go home to? Wife and I were fighting, and then bam, the engine shits the bed. We start dropping out of the sky, fuck. <laughs> the only thing I could think about was landing that plane safely. And not so I can get out of it, just so I can see my friends and my family again. And Stevie, Stevie's just said something into the black box about his, his wife and his newborn. Those old black boxes use magnetic tape, right? The new ones, they don't. Screw this. And you know what? Fuck hats. What? You heard me. Why do people always have to do stuff? Be here, be there, do this, do that. Who cares? You're just mad. I'm mad. You're the one that's mad. You're pissed off and confused. Well, you're afraid. You're afraid to fly again. Yeah, and you're afraid of this girl. One that doesn't even like you. One that doesn't even want anything to do with you. Well, you never even wore the hat I got you. And you probably put those stupid snowflake tattoos in her mailbox again, didn't you? No. Jesus, I'm just... Screw this. Well, screw you. Screw you. Screw you and your old guy car. 